Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Ellie in Space, and this is your Space News Roundup. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. Elon Musk says SpaceX has supplied Iran with nearly 100 active Starlinks. Elon hasn't tweeted as much about SpaceX lately, but in a tweet reply Monday, he revealed Iran has almost 100 active Starlink terminals. This comes three months after he tweeted he would activate service there amid protests in the Islamic country. Elon made a commitment back in September to activate Starlink in Iran as part of a U.S.-backed effort to advance internet internet freedom and the free flow of information to Iranians. Let's talk about the Soyu situation at the ISS, which could not be resolved until February. A recent Soyuz coolant loss is creating quite the mess for NASA and Roscosmos. Recently, a Soyuz spacecraft docked at the station suffered a major coolant leak. It looks like a backup Soyuz won't be able to get to the ISS before late February. What caused the hole is still under investigation. Uh, it was a single hole. Um, the teams are off looking at, uh, we're trying to get a better video and imagery of that hole. Um, it, is it, so right now we haven't confirmed that it's an MMOD, a micrometeorite debris, or some other type of failure. We're trying to get imagery to get us some better information. Uh, as Sergey said, um, we did look at the meteor showers that were occurring and uh, both the trajectory team in Houston and the trajectory team in Moscow confirmed it was not from the meteor showers, it was in the wrong direction. And so we got some work to do with imagery to, to better understand if it was a meteorite hit or if it was a, um, uh, a hardware issue. Right now, NASA and Roscosmos aren't sure if the damaged spacecraft can carry the crew back safely. If that is impossible, they won't be able to get a replacement to the ISS until February. Soyuz spacecraft are one of only two vehicles used to get crew to and from the ISS. They act as a lifeboat if people are required to evacuate quickly. So while the leak doesn't pose any danger for the crew, it does warrant a solution and could impact future crew rotations. And the former Roscosmos Russian space chief has been wounded in a recent attack. Former Russian space chief Dmitry Rogozin, who also served as Russia's deputy prime minister, said an exploding artillery shell wounded him in a Russia-controlled part of eastern Ukraine. Rogozin was at a hotel in a Russian-occupied region when an artillery shell hit him last week. He said he was wounded on his shoulder and needed surgery, but Russian media outlets reported that he was also hit in his butt and on the head. You'll remember Rogozin, the former space chief, was fired from his role by President Putin back in July after a new agreement was made between NASA and Roscosmos. China is also racing the clock to send people to the moon. China is hoping their moon rocket will have a crewed mission by 2027. The head of China's largest space contractor says their rocket will be capable of carrying a lunar orbiter and lander for a three-person mission. Other planned Chinese missions include collecting samples from Mars, deep space exploration, and a search for habitable planets outside the solar system. And there's so much more to come on the Ellie in Space channel. In fact, I have an entire episode dedicated to a behind the scenes tour I got of Firefly Aerospace. This is just north of Austin, Texas, and I will release this video as soon as I get the green light from Firefly. Also new, you may have noticed that I'm wearing this shirt and the new Starship design is live. And some of you have already ordered this design. Uh, it was made in part with Tony Bella, who also helped me make my logo, but the feedback that I got from you is you wanted a design that was less girly, so here you are. Here's a pairing of SpaceX's mantra of rapid iteration with an illustration of various Starship prototypes evolving over time. So if you want your own rapid iteration design, the link is in the description. There is also a zip up hoodie version, which I should be getting in the mail soon and I can show that one off to you. That one has the design on the back. That was also a request that I got, but thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel, whether it's buying a t-shirt or a hoodie or supporting my Patreon, or even something just as simple as liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I have some really big goals for 2023 and I really really want to grow this to uh, a very reliable news outlet for you to come back to. So I'm going to be experimenting with new formats and hopefully you enjoy it. But thank you so much and happy new year to all of you.
This is just north of Austin, Texas, and I will release this bleh, this pairing of SpaceX. I really love this pairing of SpaceX. Bleh. Jeez, I can't talk today. An occupied Donetsk region. Donetsk. 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 Rogozin was at a hotel in a Russian-occupied area when the artillery shell hit him on Thursday. 